Um, video is, is evolving. It's, um, it's got the scale and engagement of traditional media, uh, but with the benefits of digital. That is the ability to be able to target beyond age and gender. Video is not competing with television, in fact, they're completely complementary. You take your, uh, your television, uh, that's fantastic at driving fast reach uh, and, and fame, whereas digital really is great at driving attention uh, and engagement, and engagement almost equals results. I think the first thing is consider how a consumer will actually be consuming your, and watching your video. Uh, some will be on a player, often on mobile, when they're actually flipping their, their mobile screen uh, to a horizontal uh, axis and they'll be truly leaning in and watching that video. Others will be on a newsfeed. Uh, within that, also you could consider viewability and audibility. The second thing you should consider is actually what are you trying to achieve with your campaign. Uh, start with your business objectives and then move on to your campaign objectives. But most importantly, consider exactly how you're going to measure that, both before the campaign and afterward, and be consistent. Your third uh, thing you should consider is your strategy. Crudely talking, there's only three to four of these within video itself. Number one, if you've got a branding strategy, you might be considering to adopt the Byron Sharp mentality of driving one plus reach to category buyers. If that's the case, you're looking to drive reach across video platforms and to a broad audience. Your creative might be all about um, driving brand affinity and therefore copies could be uh, very much about storytelling and the warm feel of your brand. You should also consider on your creative is running a mobile first strategy. Increasingly so, all video is very much moving towards a mobile first world. So think about how your campaign is going to link to other platforms, particularly search or social. The second strategy uh, I would suggest would be performance. That is one which has a hard metric. You're looking to drive footfall, drive calls to site or drive traffic to site. If that's the case, you'll be looking for more refined targeting, perhaps in market, first or third party, or adopting a remarketing list. Creative needs to be very directional, and in a mobile world, it's okay to be very directional and tell your audience what you want them to do. Particularly with performance-driven advertising, um, I really would recommend that you try to consider how this could link to search. The final strategy is very much about um, driving reach very, very fast. This is traditionally adopted by entertainment advertisers, um, when they're looking to uh, drive reach towards the start of a forthcoming theatrical release on the weekend. If that's the case, um, obviously you're looking to drive one plus fast. Shorter time limits tend to work very well. Consider using remarketing lists and also headline placements across the video platforms that you might be considering to use. Pragmatic has changed the way the video has been bought and sold in a number of different ways. I would say the, the, the main two perhaps are um, automation, so advanced automation of actually how you're going to be buying and measuring your campaign. And the second thing is all about the ability to be able to look at a single customer view across multiple different platforms. But you should consider that it's not a linear journey. So Pragmatic allows you to segment audiences, take different signals from around the web, uh, and therefore target your audiences accordingly. So let's take a theatrical release. You have the opportunity in this instance to uh, not treat every single audience the same. So those of a franchise um, who have seen the franchise, uh, the way how you might choose to engage with those will be very different from new customers. Programmatic allows you to do that. Programmatic also allows advertisers to take advantage of dynamic creative. That is, in the moment's instance, the moment that an ad is actually being placed, you can choose the right ad for that particular user based on audience signals and data. Programmatic is also evolving the way that we are trading and buying and consuming uh, video, and it's continued to grow. So the big themes at the moment are addressable uh, advertising within programmatic world, that is finding a particular creative for, for a particular person, and also the rise of the living room. And I think increasingly so, we'll see uh, programmatic television coming to fore, uh, and that will be obviously the, the content of television, but the precision targeting of digital. That is namely the ability to be able to target TV-like content across the web on mobile, beyond age and gender, 